The game is on. A classic Game of Thrones is unfolding in South Africa. At stake is the con control of the country's ruling party and whoever heads the African National Congress traditionally is the party's nominee for the president's post. Cyril Ramaphosa, who is the country's president, is also the ANC Supremo. And right now, the top brass of the ruling ANC is in a huddle in Johannesburg to choose its next leader. But there has been high drama. On Friday, there was shouting and sloganeering at the venue of the party congress as Ramaphosa began his speech. Some ANC members, who obviously are not supporting Ramaphosa's candidacy, disrupted the proceedings and Ramaphosa had to halt his speech. Seeking re-election as ruling party chief for a second term, Ramaphosa faced another jolt for from former President Jacob Zuma. Zuma announced that he was privately prosecuting Ramaphosa over a leaked medical report linked to a 1990s arms corruption trial. However, ANC members fought in support of Ramaphosa and stopped an impeachment proceeding from being launched against him. The outcome now puts Ramaphosa in a stronger position despite a tarnishing cash heist scandal and vociferous internal opposition. Ramaphosa is tipped to win the re-election as the head of the party. Porting himself as a graft-busting champion, Ramaphosa took control of the ANC in 2017 after his then boss Zuma got mired in corruption allegations. But his clean image has been dented by accusations that he concealed a huge cash burglary at his farm in 2020 rather than report it to the authorities. Ramaphosa won a reprieve ahead of the conference when the ANC used its majority in parliament to block a possible impeachment inquiry. Almost three decades after the end of white minority rule, unemployment and crime rates are sky high in South Africa and poverty and inequality remain widespread. Power outages have hit record levels amid a worsening energy crisis. For more on this story, our correspondent Calden Ongmu sent us this report from Johannesburg. Day two of ANC's 55th National Elective Conference is expected to see heated debates as voting for top officials, including the president's position, is expected to take place. It's not sure whether the results will be announced by the end of day today, as various sessions were delayed on the first day. ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa, while delivering the party's political report, emphasized on unity and said that it is a must for ANC to unite for the sake of South Africans. The president cautioned party members over divisions and said ANC members, especially the leaders, are not as united, cohesive or effective and this is going to negatively impact the party. This is Kaldanamo from Johannesburg, South Africa, for We On. World is one.